Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today on the channel for a quick video. And I know your problem, my hair is out. I broke my protective style challenge for just one day. It's going back on lock tomorrow. This again is still those twists that I had with the rubber bands on the ends. These, this is the twist taken out. I steamed my hair, put it in some big chunky twists and took it loose today for church. But it goes back undercover tonight before I go back to work in the morning. Okay, from the title, you actually see what this video is truly about. This video is about using products that have petroleum petroleum in them on your scalp or on your skin and I got three different ones in my hands and I just want to say if you use one you can use the other none of them can be very beneficial to your scalp or your skin period they can clog your pores however as a person that grew up with Vicks Vapor Rub this one is the baby one so it has a little bit less uh, of the ingredients and I'll share that in a moment. This is the Walmart Equate brand, just a knockoff brand when you can't find the regular. I think they was out of it on the shelf. And this one is a popular uh, growth aid that is here on YouTube and several people have used this. And sorry about the glare guys. I'm not even gonna do that little hand thing. You know what this is. Okay, the virgin hair for fertilizer. The ingredients for this says herbal extract, petroleum jelly, peppermint oil, lanolin, and just fragrance. Okay, now, this Equate brand, which kind of shocked me when I read it, it says ingredients is fragrance. We don't know what the fragrance is, but I'm thinking it's eucalyptus or something like that. It says it contains camphor, eucalyptus oil, menthol, which gives you that tingling sensation. But also in the ingredients on this one has uh, turpentine oil. And petroleum. Okay, turpentine, okay, now if I'm not mistaken, that breaks up paint, things like that. So <laughs> you definitely might not want to use this one. Okay, now on the baby eucalyptus or baby's Vicks paper up, it says petroleum, fragrance, aloe extract, eucalyptus oil, lavender, and rosemary oil. So in other than the petroleum, the baby Vicks is pretty good for hair growth. So I can see why some people may be putting Vicks vapor rub in their hair. Now, all of these contain, contain some form of petroleum product, which is not good for our scalp because it will clog your pores. But I have used all of these, not in my hair though. This one I have used in my hair and I put it lightly on my scalp, mainly on my edges time to time. I'm not faithful with it, but I know you have to use a sulfate or a harsh cleanser to get this off of your scalp effectively. And I have noticed when I use it and it's too heavy, it dries out my scalp and my strands close to my scalp because it blocks moisture. To me, these work best as a sealant to put the moisture, to hold the moisture into your hair. Not as something, if you plan on moisturizing your hair throughout the week, you might not want to put any of these on your hair or on your scalp. To me, use this a couple of days before your wash day as a, a growth treatment or a stimulant to your scalp for a scalp massage before when wash day is coming up pretty soon. Or use it very, very lightly on your scalp. Now. The reason why I say there should be no major craze or uh, hate going around on Vicks Vapor Rub on your scalp or anything like that, because if you use this one, this one is just about the same. Only difference is people are fussing about this being on your scalp, but you don't fuss about it when you were a kid. Me, I grew up as an asthmatic all the way until I went into the military. So I know all about Vicks Vapor Rub. The reason why this works good as a growth aid is because of the menthol and the peppermint and the eucalyptus in it. Same thing that is in this, same thing that's in my homemade hair butter and pretty much everybody's homemade hair butter. Tea tree, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, those things stimulate our scalp because they cause blood flow to shoot to our scalp. Same thing with the Vicks Vapor Rub. When my mom used to slather it on my chest and rub it underneath my, my nose or put it in a bowl of water and cover my head with a towel, those things opened up my nasal passages. It opened up my chest. It opens up your pores in order for you to breathe better, to absorb the benefits. Same thing applies for your hair. So, if you're using this one, 
you can use this one or this one. They both can have adverse effects with some benefits. But I'm not going to put this one on my scalp. That's not going to happen. I'll just use my regular hair butter that I create and put the essential oils in it. And I'll use the fertilizer. And this one, I use very, very small amounts of it. And I actually dilute it down into my regular hair butter or my hair grease that has more natural ingredients. So it's not that much of it on my scalp. Okay, guys, that was just a quick video. I want to come on here and share my views on virgin hair fertilizer, Vicks Vapor Rub, or any other knockoff vapor rub that people are putting on their scalps we have used so many different things in the past for different reasons grandma used it mama used it brother and sister used it and it worked just fine but now we are going crazy about what we should not put on our scalp or in our hair if it works for you use it because if you're slapping this on your chest and you're putting it underneath your nose to help you breathe better at night or putting it in a humidifier that puts out the vapors in your room to help you sleep better, it can cause you just as much harm that way as it can if you put it on your scalp. So since I haven't had any adverse effects with these, using them on my chest or on my nose to help me breathe better as a child and also with my son, I used a baby one. And we put this one in his humidifier in his room because I know he's going to be an asthmatic. They just haven't diagnosed it. It's okay. We need to stop being so serious about our hair care. It's, it's just hair. It's dead anyway. We're just trying to keep it from coming off of our scalps. Just remember that, guys. Don't take it so seriously. Have a little fun with your hair. It's okay. If you have a setback, rewind and start all over okay that's just my little dig in there on using petroleum products on your hair and your scalp they are not for every they are not for everyone but some people can use them with success more power to you much love and thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one thank you to my new subscribers and everybody that has already subscribed to my channel love you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye